Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. Plane 420. And today we are somewhere very special. Somewhere that I'm very familiar with. That's right. It's my hometown's airport, El Paso International. So I live in El Paso, Texas. And, well, this is the airport, El Paso International. So today, we are going to be bullying Ryanair in this video. Because we haven't bullied Ryanair yet. And we are at gate B7. Alright, so let's go. Alright, so today we will be finding out the question. Can you land an aircraft without landing gear? I don't know. It could be possible. It could very well be possible. Alright, so... Well, here's the interior. And here is the cheap airliner Ryanair. Okay, so this is El, El Paso International, gate B7, and we have lots of mountains here in El Paso. So actually, these are these are the Franklin Mountains you're seeing right now. All right, so let's. Get up in the air, and then we will find out the question: Can you land at? Can you land a plane without landing gear? All right, so we are on the runway now, and we are going to take off. So let's go. I thought I was thinking maybe we get about a thousand feet up into the air, and then we will start descending. And we will see if we can land a plane. And since this is right now, we're going to try to do a hard landing. And if not, then that's okay. Because, oh, I don't, I don't think we should be landing the plane hard enough to get to it. So let's take it off. We'll put it on. Alright, so we are just going to be here. And so, let's do it. Alright guys, so this is what our passage is like, except, except it's missing all the buildings. This is what our passage is national. So this is what our passage is national looks like. Except it, it, it doesn't have the buildings. Wait, whoops, I am descending, which we do not want to happen. Right, so let's put our gear up. So yeah, this is what our passage is in the desert. It gets very hot here in the summer. And, um, alright, well, let's start reducing throttle. See, I'm going to put it to 60. Actually, no, 50. Actually, no, 69. Nice. So let's start descending. Okay, maybe we, for some reason we don't have the altitude. Okay, maybe we should just throttle. We can't put it at the nice number anymore. Okay, so I think 40% is reasonable. Okay. So we are descending. We are getting very close to the ground. I really hope we don't crash into the mountains. Um, maybe we should miss this. Oh wait, here we go, here we go. Right, we're about to find the question, is it possible? Uh, okay, well let's pretend that didn't happen. Alright, so we're going to descend very carefully. I will not give up until we land without landing gear. We need to reduce the throttle a lot. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Come on. Maybe if I... Wait. What if I put the flaps? Yes, I think that's what I'm missing. Okay. There we go. 
no, 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 oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, okay, um, okay, get this, this. I really wish I would show the altitude. That'd be very appreciated. So we're going to be very careful. Our flaps ready. Alright, alright, time to pull up the flaps. We're going to land pretty hard. Okay, um. Okay, well, um. Should be landing any minute, I hope. Okay, well. I'm, um, I've done this before, and I really have, but I haven't experienced anything. Ooh. Oh, oh! <laughs> All right, well, well, we're gonna try again. Come on. Okay, you know what? We're gonna try a different plane. All right. So now we are trying an airline that's very common here in El Paso International, Southwest Airlines. So yeah, you can see a lot of Southwest. Okay. Well, this really stinks. Descend. Uh, yeah, anyway, Southwest Airlines is very common here at El Paso in International Airport. <sighs> Come on. Land, please. <gasps> yes, yes, all right, all right. Come on. Okay, well. All right, well, we tried and we failed. So to answer your question, Yes, it is possible to land a plane without landing gear. Alright, well that's, that'll do it for this video. Bye.